All right, so I've gotten the engine all prepped here, um, ready for the gasket. You can see it's nice and clean around the surface here. The old gasket was stuck to it, so I scraped the, whatever was left off and sanded it really nice. I um, also took some two-stroke oil and poured it down on the, on the connecting rod bearing here in the bottom. Give it a good swirl so it's all nice and lubed up. So uh, now we're ready for the gasket here. Let's put this down. Alright, make sure you put it on the right way. It says which side goes towards the case. So I'll put this on here. Set her down. Awesome. Okay, now it's time to prep the piston and get it ready to put connect to the um, connecting rod there. So here's some new piston here. Weiss Co. I didn't go for the race piston with the shallow skirt and the single ring. I went for the one that's a little bit longer lasting. So you get your two rings. There's a piston here. Ooh, it's pretty fancy. Comes in a nice little bag. There she is. New piston. It's your new wrist pin. What else is in here? And the wrist pin circlips. Holds the wrist pin in place there. So the first step would be to get the rings on the piston. Um, this isn't always easy, but see what I can do. Make sure make sure you lube the ring lands up really good in here. Pour some two-stroke oil in there. Swirl it all around. Um, when you put the rings on, you want to make sure you don't bend them. That's very critical. So there's a bit of a technique to putting them on. It mostly just takes a little bit of practice, but it's not too bad. Let's see what see what we can do here. Take the gloves off so I can have a little bit more feel. Some two-stroke oil and a little cap here. There we go. Okay. Just the rings. Instructions. Make sure you read these. It tells you the proper end gap to check. So when the rings are on in the lands, you want to make sure the gap where the rings fit together isn't too wide or too small. It has to be just right. So it says the end gap for a three inch bore would be 12 thou. Um, minimum recommended end gap is usually about 4 thou per inch of bore. So I'll go check my manual and figure out what the end gap should be. And some rings are directional. So there's a right way up and a right way down. Um, these rings look identical both ways. Usually there'd be a sharp side on, on one edge, but these rings don't look like it. Okay. So oil these ring glues up nice. Lots of oil on these babies. Okay. Time for the rings now. In a piston take note there's some ring notches. Um, might be a little bit hard to see, but there's a ring notch there. There's another one right up there. That's where the end gaps of the rings fit. So, let's see if I can, I haven't done this in a long time, let's see if I can do this, so. I want to be careful not to bend the ring, so put it on as carefully as possible. Okay, 
So it's over. It's a little bit tricky. You don't you don't want to go into the first top groove, but now you want to put it into the second groove here. So. Okay. There she is. She's in the second groove at the bottom there. That's where she's supposed to go. And I'll put the next one in. Maybe get it a little bit more oil here. Okay, so start with one side of the ring in the groove. That's how I like to do it. Then slowly kind of work it around the piston as to not bend it open. Just nice and gently. There it goes. Pop right in. There. Okay, time to put the rest of it together. Just lube up the sparing really good here. This is the bearing that goes in the connecting rod. Lots of oil on it. Some oil inside the connecting rod. Stick the bearing on it. Okay. Let's lube up the holes in the piston. Actually, this is kind of neat. See those holes in the bottom of the piston? That's how the oil gets into, into where the wrist pin is and lubes it while it's running. These are little oil access holes. There's also one in the top of the connecting rod right here. So keep that bearing lubed inside there all the time. Otherwise, oil wouldn't be able to get in there. The engine would cease. So make sure everything's all lubed up good. Okay, let's put her together. Oh, I lube the wrist pin up here. And I put the one clip in on the back side, and then it'll already be in there, and I can just push the pin in against it. That way, I won't have to put two in later. Makes it kind of hard. These clips are kind of a bugger to get in sometimes. Here's the thing to know about wrist pin clips. Make sure you put them in the right way. This piston moves up and down like this, right? And you can see these clips, they got a gap in them. You don't want that gap to be in the, in the direction where they move up and down with the piston. Because if this gap is like this, the momentum can squeeze squeeze the ring together and it could pop out. That's that's what happened to my dad's bike. The wrist pin clip was put in wrong and it popped out. So when you put your wrist pin clip in, make sure the opening is either down or up. That way the clip can expand from the momentum of the engine running and it'll never pop out that way. So keep that in mind when you put your wrist pin clip in. Now See if I can get it in here. This is going to be kind of tough. Start one side in the hole and go from there. Okay, wrist pin clips are in. Lubed up the piston really nice, lubed up the cylinder really nice. Um, make sure you double check that the wrist pin clips are set in their slots properly. Okay, I guess it's time to put the jug on here. Let's see how well this goes. So normally you'd use a ring compressor. 
help you out with this, but I don't have one handy, so I'm gonna have to use my hands. Don't you'll be able to see what I'm doing here, but Try to get them started. There it goes, not too bad. They're down on the studs here. Easy as that. <coughs> awesome. So now I'll put my four nuts back on and figure out what the torque specs are and torque them all up nicely. Um, I might pull this off, hard to say, to check the reed valves out. Actually, let's see if we can have a look in there now. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's the reed valves in that hole. Kind of just, just like little carbon flaps, basically. Help give the engine a little bit more power. It's like everything. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> 